to episode 2 of Better Than Eddie, my Football Manager 2020 save, where I'm trying to outdo the performance of Eddie Howe as manager of Bournemouth this season. Now if you have a look at the league table here, you'll see we're doing very, very well. Uh, we're sitting in 7th place currently, but with a game in hand on all the teams above us. So our win today against today's opponent Southampton, who are sitting down in 17th, would actually put us top of the table, which is pretty much incredible. Now, I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself with that. Those of you who followed the Premier League this season will possibly remember that Bournemouth also started very, very well in that. And we ended up getting relegated. So, we're trying to take things, you know, one game at a time and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about how things have started. You'll see some of the players have been putting in very, very good performances too. Callum Wilson currently sits joint top of the goal scoring charts. Harry Wilson has created more assists than anybody else in the league and is actually second in the average ratings. Um, so some pretty good individual performances, but strong team performances all round too. So let's take a look at the schedule and you can see how we've achieved what we've done so far. So as you can see, since we played Manchester City, we've been doing very well. We had a 1-0 win away at Crystal Palace. Then we got beaten by Leicester and I kind of thought that was how the season was going to play out. Uh, fairly inconsistently but since then we've been superb uh, we had a league cup win against charlton then we beat aston villa 3-0 we were three up by half time and since then if you look at september we've been on a tremendous run of form we beat chelsea 2-1 away beat manchester united 2-1 at home and then beat liverpool 3-0 away in the league cup although they did put out a uh, very much a second string 11 for that one but yeah, that's, uh, that's the kind of run of form we've been on and hopefully we can continue that today. In terms of tactics, we've been using a sort of variation of a 4-1-4-1 formation. Uh, we have a, a positive version of it here um, for games where I expect to be the stronger team and a more cautious version of it, which I quite often start the game with um, in the Premier League and then depending on how the game is going, maybe move to the positive one as and when required. Today... Um, we have Billing missing, he was suspended, unfortunately, got sent off in the Liverpool League Cup win. Um, good to see Kelly is back on the comeback trail, he's recovering from his injury, just getting some match fitness back, so he'll be in and around the squad before too long. Um, but in terms of the actual lineup for today, uh, we have Ramsdale in goal, Diego Rico is playing left back today, Adam Smith right back, Ake and Steve Cook at centre half, Lerma in the holding midfield role. Gutierrez, who's been a revelation since he came to the club, uh, and Lewis Cook in central midfield. Fraser and Wilson in the wide areas, and Callum Wilson up front. So let's get into today's game and see if we can do Southampton. So the boys are in positive spirits, and let's kick off. We're in our kind of navy blue away kit today. Obviously our normal kit would clash with Southampton's red and white. Fairly quiet start to the game. Southampton have a free kick though. And oh, header hits the woodwork. Well cleared by Ake up to Wilson though. Can this be a chance for us? Wilson's got the pace. Oh, good effort and tipped over by McCarthy. That was a great little run and shot from Callum Wilson. He's been in great form, so his confidence must be sky high. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything from the corner, but luckily the, uh, the highlight fizzles out before it comes to a Southampton attack. <gasps> we scored! Own goal! So that looked like Wilson took a free kick, Ake header, and then a bit of a mix-up, and somehow or other, the Southampton defender has ended up <laughs> side-footing it into his own net. A very tidy little finish. So that's 15 minutes on the clock. We're one up, but oh, they've equalised almost immediately. And that was some pretty lax defending. A feature of our game in these in these recent matches is that we've defended pretty solidly. But that, well, woeful. <laughs> Absolutely woeful. So we've got to start all over again. Back to one apiece, 20 minutes on the clock now. Oh, Rico's picked up a knock. Let's wait for this highlight to play out, and then uh, then we, I think we'll take him off. I don't really want to risk 
any longer term injury. Now I don't think we have a left back on the bench today, so we're going to bring Mepham on and push Nathan Ake out to left back. He can play there, it's not his natural position, but uh, when he first came to Bournemouth, he'd been playing a season for Watford at left back on loan from Chelsea, so uh, it's certainly a position he's familiar enough with. So hopefully that won't uh, affect us too much defensively, although maybe with the uh, attacking kind of wing-back role, he might not be quite so familiar with that. Wilson's picked up the ball quite deep here. Fraser skips around his man. Shot across goal, but doesn't trouble the keeper. It's a fairly even game so far. We've got a longish throw coming in here. No good. Euros back to Ake. Let's see what he's going to do. Can't get his crossover. Lerma back to Ake into Gutierrez, who got a fairly hefty challenge, but a fair one. And Redmond is away again. Can we stop him? Oh, he puts it wide. Thank goodness for that. That was a very good run by Redmond. Luckily, the finish didn't match his uh, his previous effort. Ta -da. Smith down the right into Harry Wilson. Lewis Cook picks it up. That's a goal. And he was fortunate there. His first shot blocked by the defender, but the keeper had committed himself to saving it. As you can see here, Smith, good run down the right. Into Harry Wilson. Little ball back to Cook. Hits the shot against the centre half. Keeper's dived. And when it falls back to Cook, he's just got an open goal to stroke it into. So there we are, just coming up to half time. And we take a 2 1 lead in at the break. Really happy with that. Let's give the boys a little bit of. Yeah, that's, that's helped them gain focus. We told them not to be complacent. So we'll send them out to the second half. Callum Wilson seems stressed by that, but. Okay. Not a lot happening so far in the second half. But we have a highlight now McCarthy for Southampton. So they've got the ball in midfield now, but Lewis Cook with a good challenge and pinches the ball into Callum Wilson. And can he finish? Yes, he can at the second attempt. And again, it's a fortunate ricochet. He's through. As you can see here, Cook, Cook wins the ball. Times his pass perfectly into Callum Wilson. Centre half makes a challenge. And blocks Wilson's first shot. And it falls right back to Wilson's feet and he tucks it away. And that's 3-1. Bit of praise. We'll definitely be hearing about this from the Southampton fans. That this isn't a derby and it doesn't really matter because we're not Portsmouth. But getting beat 3-1 by Bournemouth will hurt. Another highlight here for Southampton to start. Go back to the keeper. They can do that all day long. Building again. Armstrong in the middle of the park. Danso, I think, is the guy who's been unfortunate enough with both of those ricochets. They're playing some nice football here, Southampton. We've got to try and keep our shape. But Bertrand's through. Easy save for Rambo. That's not going to trouble him. And again, I think we'll drop a little bit more praise here. Going into the last 10 minutes. About time we made a substitution or two, I suppose. Everyone's been playing quite well. Apart from Ryan Fraser. So I think we'll bring Ibon for a few minutes just to get a little bit of match fitness into him. Gutierrez has done well. Uh, we'll bring Sermon on though and swap him and Cook around. And hopefully we can just see out the last five or ten minutes for another tremendous win. And there it is. A 3-1 win away to Southampton. And any Bournemouth fan will be happy with that. And as I mentioned before the game, that win has now put us top of the table after seven games. It's very tight and it's early days, but I'll take that. Unfortunately, Diego Rico, who, as you remember, picked up a knock in the Southampton game, is going to be out for a couple of weeks, but luckily we have some cover in that department. We've got Charlie Daniels, who's a very, very good stand in there. We've also got Lloyd Kelly, who I mentioned is on his comeback trail. So I think we'll be okay. So in terms of the schedule, I think we're going to bring you back for the West Ham game next. 
that's a game that means a lot to me personally. All my family, my dad, my brother, my grandfather, all big, big, big West Ham fans. In fact, the photo that's uh, on the thumbnail and the opening credits of this video uh, that's of me and Eddie Howe was taken at this year's West Ham game that I took my father to. So, yeah, it'd be great to get one over on West Ham in the next episode if we possibly can. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. Uh, if you have, if you could uh, consider dropping a like on it for me, any help to, you know, to get my channel up and running is very, very much appreciated. Any comments you may have, any feedback, any criticism, any hints, tips, whatever, uh, if you'd like to leave a comment, more than happy to receive them and, and, and I'll obviously read them all. I'd be hugely grateful if you'd like to subscribe to the channel. And uh, finally, just thanks for watching. I hope to see you all very soon back at Dean Court for the West Ham game. Bye for now.